Right, on my new chair, I will explain what that was all about. Lots of things being unboxed right now, mainly product in for 2021. And believe me, there is a heck of a lot on the way and those videos will follow shortly. But also, from the average golfer, we've got a lot of merchandise which is being developed right now and it'll be available very soon. But just to give you a look at some of the drawings we've got so far, some head covers, towels, pitch mark repairers, Lots of caps, this is a cap, it's kind of a prototype at the moment that was sent through to me and they'll be going with this kind of stuff um, just as soon as physically possible. New website is about to launch, it'll all come together very, very quickly. But what we're here today is to talk about an iron, which I think is probably the best iron I've tested during 2020. So let's get from here, let's get into four golf and let me explain why this iron is so special. Whilst I finish setting up this iron, which we're gonna hit, what are you, are you considering buying irons right now? And if you are, what irons are you considering buying? Just throw it in the comments box down below, because I wanna see how many of you are actually considering buying this iron that I'm about to hit. Because I reckon the answer to that question is not many of you are gonna put this iron down in this box below, but I reckon, you're making a big mistake by overlooking it. There's lots of irons out there, but they're dominated by the big brands in terms of their story, in terms of their marketing story. And for me, the iron that I'm using today is one, it suffers from lack of exposure in terms of the European and US markets. And because of that, it's not widely accessible in terms of custom fit centers. And I think a lot of golfers are missing out by not have a, having the opportunity to try it, but even when they do, perhaps choose to ignore it. Let's have another question for the comments box down below. When you're buying a set of irons, what's the sort of criteria you're looking at in terms of, is it, is it all purely based on price? <clears throat> Are you led towards the sort of brand names that you recognize? Is it brand loyalty? Or is it down to a custom fit process and really doing what we should be doing, which is identifying what performs the best? Because really that's all it boils down to. We should be looking for the best product that performs in our hands. But I'm not sure that's always the route we go down. It seems like the obvious one, but I'm still not convinced that that's what we do. I'm gonna hit an iron right now, and believe me, yeah, you've been waiting a long time. I will hit this iron. And arguably, it would be my next set of irons. But will it be? Right, back in the warmth to uh, give you my verdict on what is yet, it is the ZX-7. And if you watched the video uh, a week or so ago, I uh, looked at the ZX-5, which essentially, if you put these two clubs together, the ZX-7 is just the smaller profile of the ZX-5. Other than that, they look very, very similar. But again, from it depends what you like in a dress, but for me, the ZX-7, that smaller profile, slightly thinner top line, that ticks that one box that perhaps the ZX-5 didn't. But then you start to look at, okay, well it ticks that box, but what am I sacrificing? Am I gonna lose the sort of, the forgiveness, I suppose, that is offered in the ZX-5 with that bit more bulk and mass? Am I gonna start to see ball speeds dropping off? Is that the compromise? You've already seen the data in front of you, and it comes back in front of you now. The simple answer to that question is no, I didn't. Not one bit. In fact, the numbers from the ZX7 are absolutely fantastic. Once again, every single box from ball speed through to spin number, launch angle, land angle, and then that carry distance. Nothing is compromised whatsoever in this set of irons. And that's why, for me, I said this is quite possibly 
the best set of irons. Certainly for me, anyway, the things that I like, because really what I want is I want that small compact profile, but I want the forgiveness that is offered in the more generous clubs, if you like, in the bulkier clubs with a bit more mass around them. And I feel like I get that in the ZX7. I can't believe how much progress has been made in terms of irons over the last couple of years, because that's how it's gone. Irons like the P770, irons like the 921 Forged, again, smaller profiles, but offering forgiveness and, and able to play, maybe not as good a player like myself playing a player's iron. And that's exactly what this is. And again, that idea, there's a few shots you'll see, I was able to shape the ball, hit a draw, if I could get one out of the bag, and again, that fade, flight the ball a bit different. The amount of confidence it gave me at address was unreal. So for me, I think that what it does, it, it looks fantastic, first and foremost. It performed fantastic. And I suppose, and the sound and feel is then this one thing that I will say. I go on about Mizuno often, about nothing feels like a Mizuno, and I quite agree with that. I buy into their strap line. But what I'll say with Srixon, this ZX7 and the 5 for, the, for, to, for that matter, the feel out of them is incredibly soft. It is so nice to hit a ball. The, the old adage and sort of knife through butter, that's exactly what it feels like. It is so subtle. It's honestly, it is so nice. And it's a big deal for me, not for everybody. So you put that back into what I said with that small profile, with those looks. Honestly, these irons are, I can't see how anybody would pick faults in them, to be quite honest with you. That's where I'd put them. So for me, uh, the, people always ask the question again about, you know, will I gain them? I don't need a set of irons right now, but if I did, the ZX7s would be on top of the list because I think they are absolutely incredible. And for me, Srixen, get out there and just say a little bit more about these clubs. Get it out there to the masses because I think that anybody who doesn't get the chance to try these, uh, it, when you're looking for new irons in that category, well, then you're missing out big time. Anyway, I'm going to carry on uh, inside here. Lots of work to do. As I mentioned earlier on the video, lots of things happening right now uh, with the average golfer. It's all exciting stuff, and I'll keep you updated in the weeks ahead. As ever, thanks for watching this one, and uh, I'll see you all soon.